and start. <clears throat> there we go. This is now. I think we are now at part three. This is part three of the video. Yeah. So space fleet alert just started, as you could see. Now it gets interesting. Let's see the button action. Can turn up the volume a little bit. So you guys can hear it also. I disabled the music. Also, I forgot to mention this in the guide, I will add that later on. You have to set the weapons to automatic fire, that helps. The green, you need to right click on it so it becomes green. I forgot about that. Okay, let's see. Um, the bot, I think it's set the follow mode. Oh, I set it to fleets and that's not um, the idea it should be zone, but okay. Sure, what that uh, enemy's kind type is. <clears throat> okay, so now the bot will follow uh, a couple of teammates uh, the first couple of minutes. Follow, you see. And later on, it will just fly its own path in case there are multiple bot users. And perhaps in the future, I will add. Um, I can turn down the sound a little bit for now while I'm talking. I may add a, a map future where it uses the map to find targets so it can directly uh, fly towards the target and basically blow the living shit out of it with rapid fire. Rapid fire. For now, I would recommend uh, beam weapons and I also set uh, camera position to follow mode or something or whatever. Target mode or whatever, you can do that in options. No, it's not target mode, so I, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, so beam weapons and fire with will is good, and of course, high yield torpedo, whatever you want. The bot will also heal teammates and stuff. Um, this is a very low level toon, low level captain, so it's not very representative of the bot capabilities. It has pretty uh, advanced capabilities when it comes to power-ups. It will also pick up stuff as you can see. Oh wait, I can look at my LCD display here. Yeah. See if I'm filming it correctly. Okie dokie. Um, so as you can see, you're getting expertise first of all. And you're also getting skill points, uh, and you should also be getting uh, items, and you should also be getting uh, dilithium. So let's watch out for that. Mm. Kind of curious about that. Uh, fortunately, we got a big bug ship in the team, which has worked the wait as far as I'm concerned. Oh, there you go, skill points. Skill points. I received expertise, so that's okay. I have not seen any uh, daily rewards yet, but it will pro pro probably come. My other captain did take it and delete it yeah, last time I, uh, I tested this. Mm. There you go, navigate to position. Okay, uh, it is now at uh, wave 5 of 8. We are almost done. And there you go, it uh, got some item which you can sell for credits. You can discard it for credits. Sometimes you can uh, uh, sell it on exchange. Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I have a. Um, computer from 2006 with a somewhat slower uh, CPU I'm running at low graphics and um, if you have a fast CPU a modern CPU then the bot will run a lot faster it could be interesting but as you can see it already runs pretty fast it keeps hitting uh, fire 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 you know and uh, these are bio uh, warships uh, I notice it now I haven't seen those uh, that much. I think this is uh, something new, I'm not sure. Look at that guy, uh, all the power-ups, nice. Um, 
yeah there is one mass group inbound it says yeah nice there you go eight out of eight um so uh, at least it will give a um the lithium award at the end uh, i did see the lithium awards uh, earlier so i'm a bit confused about what the hell that was maybe it was something special i don't know but for now let's just um, wait for this to complete um, Maybe uh, buy a warship to not give the Leo anything, I don't know. Or maybe the bug ship is sticking it up and it's a bit low on shields. But maybe he likes that. Tactical stuff, you know. Bam, he shields went up. <laughs> funny. As you can see, the bot is also clicking on it. Hmm. <laughs> okay, there we go. Your ship has received 25 plasma damage. I think it just exploded. No, it didn't. Ah, um, oh, it does explode. It does have a respawn, so don't worry about that. But the mission is already complete. It just needs to take two awards. So I'm always curious if the bot takes two awards. That is the most important part, I think. So, oh, okay, now I'll my camera properly. Okay, um, it is still around its combat code but it will um, soon detect that it is complete sometimes it will get a promotion but don't matter and there you go there is the proof you received 480 the lithium ore sometimes you can get a little bit more I'm not sure why you know, sometimes get more you know I'm not sure maybe it's officer reports or maybe it's something else or special events it was kind of weird but at least I got uh, 480, okay. Bam. It warps out. <clears throat> and if everything goes well, it should now change character and go to the other captain. Oh wait, it will first refine the lithium, I think. It should do that now. Yeah. That's why your inventory has to be at that location. It clicks there, bam, you go, there you go. Well, you refined 480 to the theme, nice. You will have to sell the items yourself. The bot doesn't do that. You will have to unpack the stuff, which might be a problem if your inventory is small. Maybe I'll add something to auto sell. Um, but you can sell fleet marks you know, by joining fleets and um, via the trade window, you can ask for rewards like eight, 3k per fleet mark or 5k or something. You can make a lot of energy credits that way. You can get pretty rich from that. You gotta find customers yourself, you know, just advertise on the chat window. Like, you could say, say oh, look at that, three, yeah. You could say, for example, um, Fleet marks for sale, you know, that's what I used to say. And then you can also go to, to the trading channel and you can advertise there that you have trade mark, uh, fleet marks for sale. You should always request payments first because you can only dump them once, right? So always request payment first and then you dump it into their star based projects. Um, I don't think there are any new star based projects, so maybe most fleets have already completed everything. So maybe the market right now for fleet marks is not uh, too great. I'm not sure about that. Uh, always new, new fleet, of course, new fleets. But uh, it may be wise to um, wait and wait and wait until maybe, well, uh, maybe you'll be waiting forever. But you could wait until new, um, until new uh, star-based projects uh, exist. You know, currently there is a star-based, there is a mine, and there is an embassy. And also a sphere, I think. That yeah, was also new. Not sure if they're gonna add anything new. Not following that, but if there is something new, you may want to wait until that uh, goes. Uh, how do they say uh, active or online or something? Or um, 
yeah. And then uh, there will be many people desperate for their uh, fleet marks, you know, they want to complete the, the projects as fast as possible. And um, while we wait, I got five minutes left on my video camera, maybe 15. While we wait for the next uh, round to start, uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Uh, while we wait, I will tell you um, my selling strategy. <clears throat> so you could set like a minimum minimum level, for example, two thousand. Oh, here we go. So ten thousand, and anything you have above the the ten thousand, you could ask low price, but. You know, as you start to sell out, you could raise the price. So then you could, if you're low on fleet marks, you could ask like 10k or 12k per fleet mark. You know, and it's a bit of a rip off, but there are always people that want to pay that kind of energy credit. Some people got angry, but uh, yeah, that's the market. If you're low on if you're low on fleet marks, you're low on fleet marks. You know, it's just uh, there's just demand and supply. You know. So you can create your own little uh, demand and supply system by just um, looking at your levels. You know, if you're if you're low, you know you, you ask a lot, and if you have a, a huge amount, you can ask less. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes there are people that just want uh, like ten thousand fleet marks or twelve thousand fleet marks, so you can still ask the entire price. Oh, I noticed something. Um, levels are. Uh, Balanced. I think it's better to set uh, the power level high on weapons. Uh, you can do that uh, yourself, but does not do that for you. Then again, if you use auxiliary to battery or whatever, you may not want to do that or whatever. And um, no, the power to weapons. So I think it uh, the overflow will help. I think. Okay, so that is now uh, Captain 3, and uh, after the Captain 3 is complete, then the bot will... Uh, oh, there you had it! Did you see that? It got in the lithium. Maybe it's because uh, it is a higher captain or something. I, I'm, I am a little bit... Uh, it's a little bit of mystery. Um, anyway, what was I explaining? <laughs> Power levels... Uh, Oh yeah, Captain 3 and uh, it will uh, enter weight mode. <coughs> ah, there you go. You see that? You received 1 lithium ore. 2 lithium ore. I 3 lithium ore. <coughs> I do not know why it does that. I will ask around to see if there is an explanation for that. If nobody knows, I might read release notes, and if I can't find it, then it's a mystery. Let me know why it does that. It's cool. I don't know. But you will get additional ore at the end. So that is not all. You will get more. Um, this video is starting to run out on time. I may have to stop it, and I'll try and stop it as late as possible. Bam, there you go, another lithium, uh, for the lithium ore. It is amazing. I don't know why it does that. I, I love it, it's cool. I may um, try a level 50 tune and then hide my identity maybe just to see what the fuck it does what the hell it does here yeah. could be cool I don't know I don't know why does it um, anyway skill point awarded maybe some kind of skill point overflow or something I don't know no that's kind of weird because it's just level 9 and it goes again But anyway, as I already probably explained, this bot is also nice for leveling up your tune slowly, automatically. And also getting expertise. 
which you can nowadays also spend on stuff like uh, training manuals and you could sell them or maybe not uh, you can uh, you can actually sell expertise to star bases actually yeah uh, sometimes they need a shitload of expertise I sold millions of expertise once to somebody and uh, I'm, I made a pretty good deal okay I have to stop the video because I'm running out of time I am going to restart the video as quickly as possible but for